There are moments when I see her and it will hit me so deep. Meadow Walker, the model and daughter of the late Paul Walker. This was unlike anything we could have imagined. The driver lost control before hitting this tree and the fire was so big, witnesses raced to put it out, but they simply could not. Before he died, the single father left his daughter with Vin Diesel. It wasn't my idea. He was a father before I was. He represents what? Every guy wants an older brother. While Vin has built a reputation as being a bit of a badass on screen, off screen, things start to get weird. I've cried more than I've ever cried in my life. People will say, just move on. Is Paul Walker's daughter left with the wrong person? You allegedly called Vin Diesel an unprofessional. You gotta pay the fifth on that. I remember thinking there has to be a way out of it. They don't teach you how to mourn someone and simultaneously pretend they're in a scene with you. What happens when he doesn't have a script? Did you ever like really beat the crap out of somebody? I'm gonna tell you something that nobody knows. I remember coming home one night after a big fight and I run up to the kitchen and I get ice and I'm, my hand's swollen and I'm just another day at work. You have to be like the toughest guy in the bar, don't you, if you're yeah. the bouncer? Vin acted tough to survive, but that wasn't who he wanted to be. I was feeling like just bummed about I, the fact that I was still doing this job after all this time. And the only thing you have to do when you're a bouncer is go to the gym so that I could have my days free to do theater. While Vin was trying to start his acting career, Paul focused on supporting his family. My baby wasn't planned. I wasn't married, and we're not always our best, but you know, so long as it's two steps forward, you know, to every one step back, you know, you keep going, you're all right. But even when Vin finally got his big break, he kept acting tough. I am usually in character. Unlike other actors that can turn it off, I've never had that ability. Sometimes it was really hard to differentiate between Dominic and Vin. He's so intense. Paul saw through the tough guy persona and reached out to Vin. When Paul would read a line that he didn't like, he would go, Vin, what do you think? He, he always wanted to know what I thought of the lines and what I thought of, you know, how the characters were playing out. Vin actually has a really big heart. He represents what every guy wants in an older brother. But when Vin found out he was about to be a father, his painful past came rushing back. You know, when you're growing up in New York with a lot of tough guys, they'll say, oh, whatever you do, don't go in the hospital. <laughs> Stand in the hallway. <laughs> don't go in that delivery room. Vin's father walked out on his mom just weeks before Vin was born. Unlike the men Vin grew up with, Paul knew that supporting family was true strength. He was a father before I was, even though I was the bigger brother. He sees that I'm not myself. And at the end of the day, he comes into my trailer and says, what's up? I know you too well, what's going on? I said, I'm gonna tell you something that nobody knows. I'm about to have a baby and I have to go to the hospital now. And yeah, he was contemplating going into the hospital to watch the labor. He wasn't sure if he wanted to see it or not. And he said, but Vin, go into that delivery room, be present, and cut that umbilical cord, and it will be the best day of your life. And so I did that, and it was the best day of my life. And that was the first time like, I really felt like I saw Vin, like, the human side of him. And then after that, it just seemed like things opened up. But He's the only person in the world that could have told me to go in and cut the umbilical cord. Addressing that fatherhood head on with a pride and a joy. Just as Paul helped Vin step up for his family, everything went up in flames. Let's get straight to the breaking news. Paul Walker, one of the stars of the enormously popular Fast and Furious movies, dead in a car crash. And the fire was so big, witnesses raced to put it out, but they simply could not. And now this, a crash site turned into a memorial. I spent 15 years with a brother, and then one day he's gone. I leaned on him, and he was my rock. This was, uh, unlike anything we could have imagined. They don't teach you how to mourn someone and simultaneously pretend they're in a scene with you. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do. I remember thinking that there has to be a way out of it. But Vin was about to become a dad again. Sometimes when, when you lose somebody, you're hypersensitive to all the gifts that they've given you. Could he be strong for his family without Paul's support? I couldn't help but to remember Paul and his advice. 
you just you keep going you know and you find your way and sometimes you fall flat on your face and you get up again i knew he was there and as i'm cutting the umbilical cord i'm thinking to myself it's all because paul walker told me to go into the delivery room and so once it came time to sign the name i started writing paul and then just added i and me and it felt like you know, a way to keep his, his memory a part of my family and a part of my world. But there was one member of Paul's family who really needed Vin's support. I was in a position to protect his legacy. He's your godfather to his beautiful, wonderful daughter. I know you take good care of Meadow. To see her with my children is one of the most beautiful things. There are moments when I see her playing with Pauline and it will hit me so deep because I can only imagine what my brother is seeing when he sees that. I feel very protective. He's the first person on Father's Day to wish me a happy Father's Day. Vin became stronger than ever by supporting his family. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter what nationality you are. If you love someone, they're your family. It makes me proud to be a part of this. You would be amazed what you can do with love. You'd be amazed how powerful a force that is. I had great angst every night, and I wish I had someone who could just pull me aside and, hey, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, you have all these dreams, and none of it came true. I remember laying there in, in the ring, and it was crippling for me. 20,000 fans chanting Rocky sucks. 